What's up, champions? Fam, it's Zeke Forno, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. I hope that you all had an amazing Titan Feud weekend and enjoyed the official debut of Attitude Era Trickster, The Rock, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, as well as his solo and faction contest goodies. But nonetheless, aside from the debut of The Rock's new variant, we also got the launch of the black market on the WWE Champions portal. Now, it took a couple trial and error runs to get things off the ground, but finally, here we are. It is up and available. I hope that you have plenty of web coins to the side already. And if not, look, just do the trivia, get web coins that way. Or if you're on the pay to play side of things, there are plenty of pretty good offers that pop up on the portal that will come with web coins. So make sure to look out for those too, because there are tons of goodies from coins, superstar shards, to actual cards of characters varying in price when it pertains to web coins. But there's also a brand new currency available for, you know, the more lucrative side of things. And that is the rupees. You're going to make sure to purchase those too, because the same thing can be said on that side of the shop. There's also two different contests up and running here, allowing you to pick up shards for icons of WrestleMania acrobat Charlotte Flair here. Plus you can actually pick up shards of her within the, uh, within the market shop as well. And whether you decide to do a simple roll or a mega roll, that's totally up to you. But again, trivia games, boom, web coins, certain portal offers, boom, web coins, stockpile those up, invest in the rupees if you feel like it, it's going to be RNG with the rolls when you do them, but you might come across something very, very good, and there are those two contests up and available for some extra rewards and resources, so capitalize on that, but nonetheless, it is here, and it's definitely going to help out a lot of players. I do think Champions is kind of stretching themselves a little bit thin when it comes to the availability of certain superstars, because you got to think, now, boom, you got to go to the portal to get the shards for, uh, for Charlotte, which makes sense. That's cool. She's the queen. She's a highly valuable promoter when it pertains to feuds. I understand that. That's cool, and there's a lot of other good resources available where she is located, but then you also look at how they have it set up with the other promoters with Undertaker being in the marquee shop then you got some in the faction shop you got others in the showdown shop so you got you know you got to be careful with how far you want to go uh, go about things because back in the day we had the promo code sadly that ended there's so many ways for us to get characters now you don't want to get lost because then you got to think there's a lot of different types of currencies you're now having to hoard so you can acquire and recruit all of them properly and i also got to say this too it would be great to see actual cards more often. I have seen a screenshot, I believe, of the actual cards of the promoters that can be found within the uh, within the shops, but that is truly RNG. But at least you know it's there. So then knowing the full on price, if it were shard wise, I wish they gave us a chart letting us know the full amount of amount of currency that we're going to need to purchase each of these promoters from their different locations that would help out immensely and also more opportunities to actually see the card in the shops compared to shards so that way you can actually pick up the, the superstar in one false swoop that would be dope to see anything's uh, possible again i've only seen one screenshot showing an actual card of the promoter aside from austin you know what i mean and uh, and hbk being available on the portal but with that type of like, you know, different locations to find different superstars that can help out your account. It's a, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. So champions needs to tread lightly and learn how to balance it out with the locations of certain superstars so where we can pick them up outside of the mega superstar loots and the briefcase loots and, you know, the free to play units that we pick up and chase champions, etc. But New addition that's definitely going to be game changing and help out a lot of players. Definitely going to be benefiting you instead of hindering you. Just might take you some time to pick up some really good purchases, but they are there and available. You can definitely check out their chart for that. Now, we did have a solo and faction contest running for the most electrifying debut for Attitude Era Trickster Rock V2. 
And your boy was actually able to get it in thanks to the setup for the Titan feuds. This was one of those times where I actually had a very solid opportunity. This reminds me similarly to when I had the um, shot at Ultimate Warrior Motu Showboat. So this was cool to actually get all the way to the end, hit the final milestone and pick up a brand new skill plate. I wish I had more compared to others, man. But look, depending on what faction you're in, depending on how you you go about contests and everything, whether you're free to play or pay to play, skill plates can be far in between compared to how, you know, lucrative and, you know, you can come across them a lot more easily depending on your situation all the way around. But whenever you get a good skill plate, you always want to take a true advantage of it. And this is definitely one that I'm not going to take for granted. To being able to break red gems and being able to cycle purple, I'm definitely putting this on my great one, Rock, who put in a lot of work for me during this Titan feud. But to have an opportunity to max out a contest like this, it's cool because not every player is able to do it. Not every, but not everyone's able to do it so consecutively or consistently. Some players are, others not so much. But when you're able to have little small victories like that, it makes it all the more worthwhile, especially when you're not only taking care of business for yourself, but you're taking care of business for your faction fam. So two birds, one stone, everyone walks away happy. I was happy to clear this. Plus my faction Phoenix Rises put in that work and we were able to take care of business with the faction uh, contest as well. Easy clap of a weekend, um, depending on how you went about things. But the faction contest all the way around should have been easy for everybody to clear and walk away with all those resources and rewards from there. And then the solo contest, of course, that that fell upon you and what you were willing to put in and put forth. But when it came to this contest and when it came to this debut for a brand new rock, I already told y'all I was probably going to go in and I went in. I easily did over, I'd say maybe 168 pulls for the rock. Yes. Aside from just grinding out the uh, grinding out feuds and everything, I did mad pulls and I got good resources in return. But to no avail, sadly, I did not get the rock in any of those pulls, unfortunately. However, I was blessed by the scope guys multiple times around. I was able to recruit modern era technician Drew McIntyre, the Scottish warrior, to the roster and definitely am already invested in him alongside another superstar that I was able to pick up. The RNG, I haven't done pulls in a while. So literally the scope gods bless me this time around because not only were we able to recruit Drew McIntyre via shards, which was pretty dope. We were able to pick up some solid, solid pulls through the multiple rounds. We were able to pick up three-star gold um, fuses for Mark Henry and Showboat Dolph Ziggler. We got fuses for both Tucker and Typhoon. And all those shards came into play for Tucker because literally as many uh, as shards I pulled of Tucky, I was I was literally I'm almost a few shards off from fusing him all the way up to four star gold. So looking forward to that in the future, picked up a four star, um, uh, picked up enough shards to fuse up my MVP to four star bronze too. We also picked up a two star Andrade sitting on enough shards, literally 200 shards off to fuse him up to four star bronze. Already got him equipped to my um, Slick Rick for the appearance of Purple Gems alongside Zombie Charlotte Flair. So that was a good look there. But the piece to resistance, aside from also picking up a full four-star bronze fuse for Godfather and getting Drew, we picked up four-star silver tribute to the troops, Acrobat Trish Stratus. This was dope. Now, this is actually very unique, too, because this is the first time that I've actually recruited a chase unit via the Mega Superstar pools. So I wasn't able to get her from the um, Thanks and Tanks MLC, but we were able to get her here at four star silver alongside Andrade and some good fuses for some top notch trainers and coaches in Tucker and Typhoon. But this like the uh, the RNG was hit and miss. Again, I did not get the rock, but I was able to pick up Drew. Finally, finally got a Drew McIntyre on my side to cover content and contest. He came into play as well. Definitely 
on the side of Fuse getting the bonus points. Him, MVP, great one, Rock. Great one, Rock allowed me to double dip on points. So everything f f fell right into place here. The Mega Superstar loot, although uh, Rock evaded us, we were blessed with a lot of good uh, situations for the account moving forward. And aside from that, you know, clearing the contest definitely made things more and more worthwhile. But let's be real here. This guy, this guy is truly God tier. When they said he was God tier, they meant it. And I am glad that The Rock finally got his just due. Now, again, depending on certain feud setups or bonuses for different types of content, different characters can get their shine. Like I said earlier, Great One Rock with that bleed bonus with the top of the slot for Titan Fuse alongside uh, um, the Trial Austin. I was able to take care of business left and right, get easy points from Titan Austins all the way through the feud time. So sometimes it benefits in those ways. But then there's characters that come along that are just monsters, absolutely on a, another level of tier. And this rock delivers a finisher that steals health a reversal that does big body damage a trap area move where either you're gaining mp because your opponent breaks it or if you break the gems you're creating uh, you're creating crazy insane z taker cascades and the wild cardos all the way throughout the board a trap gem destroy move damage for every trap gem that's on the board and a, a yellow gem damage boost this guy is a monster of a unit so monstrous that this guy can literally be ran with no mp trainers at all you have your perks properly sorted out every single mlc this guy is going to be good to go turn one able to cycle able to body content and with that what the rock is cooking skill plate again that is going to make it so easy for you to cycle over and over and over. And the damage that he can put out when you got the right trainer and coaching setup is monstrous. He has a good set of tag links and his coaching ability is OP. He and Showboat Matt Hardy are going to be a true match made in heaven or hell, depending on who you are. And if you put him alongside guys like Demon Balor or Zombie Taker, I believe, that all the help out with the multiply gems, this guy, monster, true god tier, versatile moves, sets, and kits, incredible trainer, coaching, promoter ability, and highly viable tag links he's a monster he is a true god tier unit he is the best rock in the game there's no ifs ands or buts about that and kudos to those who were able to pick him up absolutely free from the chest from feud or from milestone rewards from the bags from the mega superstar loot i've seen a lot of people able to pick him up and congratulations to all of you because you got a true god tier unit that can literally clear all the content in the game, male superstar wise, by himself. In feuds, he's going to be dangerous. In showdowns, he's going to be dead. He's going to be dangerous. No way around it. He's not losing health. He's able to basically put uh, put you at death's door with his reversal damage. Again, the trap moves, gaining a purple MP if the opponent breaks it, making yellow area moves, causing Z Taker cascades and Zawal Cardos. He's a monster. He's in a league of his own for sure. And I am glad that he is in the game. I will continue to hunt for this character. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. But the Mega Superstar loot pulls did treat me well. The Titan feud was fun. It made it a lot easy for a lot easier for everyone to walk away and capitalize just by simply bullying T Titan Austin. If you had the right characters, bleed guys easily melt him there's no way around it like i said great one rock just bled him to death got the full 900 900k that i was able to get if you were able to get higher let me know was able to get that every single time that i went up against him easy clap for characters uh, the characters like montez ford or tech cena anyone with a deadly bleed would capitalize against the against um titan austin and of course you could clear out all your other uh, oppositions as well but if 
you made sure to get your points from that Titan, you were guaranteed to make easy clap points throughout this weekend. Sometimes literally jokes at the amounts of points that you were able to pick up because I've seen a lot of numbers and they were some insane in the membrane, but that's just having a good time and having fun. And again, this was one of those faction contests that came around that was easy for you to clear out. So there was no excuse to not max out the faction contest, at least. And again, the solo contest, that was all about you, what work you were able to put in, how much you were able to do um, content wise, mega, uh, the, uh, mega superstar pulls, feud numbers. That was all on you, but it was doable one way or the other. And walking away with the, all those resources, especially that brand new skill plate, is definitely a good look for any account for sure. But I enjoyed this Titan feud. It wasn't as sluggish as the previous with Otis. This one was a lot for like, you know, formulaic and worked to a T. And I also want to let people know too. I know that some people were upset when they got their Titan Austins. If you chose to use your Austin, that was on you. I used him literally just for the line bonus, didn't even touch him at all, didn't use him for any points, just used all my other bonus superstars, Drew, Triple H, Godfather, um, MVP, The Rock, I used all those characters to get the bonus points that, that way, so that was the team that I was running to get maximum points every single run, but... For those that don't understand Titans, I believe they have four st the five star silver um, health, and I think around four star bronze gem damage. So that's why they, if you did choose to use them, that's why they weren't impressive to you because an actual, you know, strapped up, you know, strapped up to the moon, attitude era showboat Texas rattlesn uh, Texas rattlesnake. A Stone Cold Steve Austin hits a lot harder compared to what the Titan was doing. So to those of you who have plans on investing in Showboat Austin, I've seen people take him up to five star. He is worth it, especially with uh, what his five star move does and brings to the table. But don't look at the Titans, uh, the Titan stats and compare it to the actual stats of a five star because they pale in comparison. So don't don't fret if y'all were thinking about taking up your Showboat Austin's a five star. You saw the Titan stats. That's how it's set up five star silver health and like four star or a four star bronze gem damage that's what they're made, made to be big pillows hit light and a whole boatload of damage so hard to kill so just keep that in mind there but this titan feud went a lot better than the than the former so this was a good round two hopefully they continue to improve and it was a very fun and enjoyable weekend just because the amount of points that everybody was able to accumulate with the damage they did to the titans let alone getting all their other additional points and doing what they had to it made it a lot easier for you to hit your your few requirements and also get boat tons of rewards also from your effort. So salute to Scopely, the good old folks over Scopely for this one. This was a good weekend of feuding. But if y'all felt otherwise, by all means, leave that in the comments below. But before that, not only did we pick up all those cool superstars, Andrade, Trish, recruiting Drew, getting all the fuses for all those superstars, we hit up the shards chest and it blessed us with somebody that we've been longing to have on the account. Been waiting for a new superstar for a specific class to work on and take up the five star. Not only because they're a solid unit, but because they are a true, true fan favorite of mine. Because ladies and gentlemen, we struck gold. We pulled 1,000 shards. 1,000 shards. And we finally let him in. Modern Era Showboat, The Fiend, let me in. Finally on the roster. Another project alongside Drew, who I plan on taking up to five star and higher. <coughs> Pardon me. But this was absolutely exciting. Walking away with all these brand new superstars, all these solid fuses, all these resources all the way around. There was also a contest on the portal for The Rock's debut. Depending on how much you spent, got a lot of cool rewards from there. Tons of coins, tons of high rarity tokens, plus an affiliation strap. My first uh, affiliation strap at that, a George Steele one. So that's going to come in handy. But this was truly 
awesome. Able to recruit the Fiend, the character that I've been wanting on my roster for so long. Definitely going to be hunting for his gear now. So I'm looking forward to that. Excited about that. Got to see an exciting Titan feud that was very entertaining, very fun with all the line bonuses that were available, depending on who you took and switched it up with uh, alongside Titan Austin. You could get mad points all the way around and have a good time, especially if you had bonus superstars. A lot of people were doing pulls, saw people picking up Bobby Lashley, saw people picking up the Godfather. People picked up The Rock. It was awesome for everybody. This was a very solid debut weekend, in my opinion. If you feel otherwise, let me know in the comments below. But The Rock is definitely in a tier of his own, a God-tier unit. And I would love to see some gameplay somewhere of a five-star Trickster Rock versus a five-star Striker Hogan. You know, remake remake of wrestlemania you could also go with uh, trickster hogan as well hollywood hogan but that would be dope to see right there clash of the tricksters or old school you know can the can the uh you know class of disadvantage overcome the class with the advantage with them um, going up against hall of fame hogan but card monster god body god tier top five top ten there's no way around it there's no arguing that this monster of a unit is not busted so glad to see him in the in the game didn't get him but got mad mad superstars from here trish andrade crucial fuses was able to get drew new tech project going up to going up to five star and the higher definitely gonna i plan on having him the five star gold that he's that that's definitely the aim but have a lot of good a lot of errors covered a lot of classes covered a husbando and waifu side of things so things are looking up for you boy and i hope things are looking up for you as well but what are your thoughts about this weekend's content what are your thoughts on the black market being available how far did you get were you able to reach the final milestone were you able to get the skill play what are your thoughts on it what are your thoughts on a brand new rock what are your thoughts on the black market Overall, I think that it's a good addition, but again, I don't want to see champions stretching themselves too thin when it comes to the different locales and availabilities of certain superstars. Too many currencies to now keep in mind, too much grind, but hey, if you've been, a, been ahead of the curve for a long time and you're like sitting on hundreds of millions of these types of coin resources kudos to you then you're already ready you're set but to those who aren't on that uh, aren't on that side of the spectrum just yet start hoarding now and just be on the lookout for what you can pick up the cards do show up for the promoters some from time to time within the different shops but that is true rng but i really wish that they gave it a chart out when they launched all these promoters fully to let us know how much of each currency it was going to cost to get the full shards to recruit them to your account and then everyone could then go out and work off of that so they would always have that currency available but we'll see how things go in the future things will turn around a lot of contests available a lot of milestone rewards to be claimed and now it's on to a brand new week another blitz another grind a new showdown a new mega superstar will we see another rock introduced only time will tell but hey yo, bad times don't last, but champions do. Mad love always and forevermore to each and every single one of you of my beloved hashtag champions fam. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive all future notifications from yours truly, the bad guy of WWE champions, Zeke 4 and And until next time, let's chop it up within the comments below. But as always, mad love to all y'all. Let me know your thoughts about all the content that we dealt with this past weekend. And what are you looking forward to this upcoming week? Who do you think the upcoming mega superstar is going to be? And what are your thoughts about the brand new rock, this Titan feud, the mega superstar loot, if you did pulls there and the brand new portal black market, two ways to go about it with rupees and web coins. Make sure to capitalize when you can, but until next time, Peace.